I get a special gift for being in the audience? Yeah, it's waiting for you upstairs. Yeah, there's a mug. <laughs> there's a printer upstairs for you. <laughs>
Yes, well, it's basketball season. It is. It's cold out. It is. Well, it's warm now. It's cold in the mornings, but it's pleasantly sixty-one warm. Today. Yeah, in, the, in, in yeah. the afternoon, which is I push my runs back just a little bit later, just so I'm not too cold. Right. I don't want to wear gloves yet. I don't blame you. You know, but men's and women's basketball team, you know, will be both. You know, big weeks. You know, come up and weekends coming up, and they'll be really digging deep. You know, right. into their schedule. So we list Coach Whittington. And Coach gave her the best of luck. Yeah. How about those interviews on Media Day? Weren't they something? How about it? I didn't know, know what was going on. <laughs> Especially right. the guy doing them, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I was just, that was Zach Wilson got hurt day. So I was all, you know, <laughs> all the show. Show. plus it's Sunday and I'm not really, you know. You're not a Sunday guy here. You know, I think I'm getting free red zone all year for some reason, even though DirecTV hasn't charged me yet. Not yet. Not yet. I keep looking <laughs> for the bills, you know, so, and I was distracted being here on a Sunday. It's like, oh, I'm missing on free red zone channel. Right. You know, and the tickets. You don't but, want um, the free stuff going But those to interviews go turned out beautifully. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The producer putting it all together. Oh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Speaking of the producer, are we having a guest today? We are hoping to. We're okay. efforting to get our uh, our athlete of the week, Jalen Davis, who okay. you mentioned for men's basketball on this week, and hopefully Bill Hackett too. Okay, we have to catch up with them, but I have not the heard thrill. back from either of them okay. yet. Okay, and then uh, yeah, the, the thrill. thrill. Will the thrill? Well, um, will the thrill will be in the weight room later? You know, if you wanted to, you know, do that. Or and usually I see Jalen all the time, but I haven't seen him come that's in. What yet, so that's what I'm. That's what I'm waiting for. Maybe he's, he's just camera shy and he's running from you. But he, he had like 25 points. 25 right? handful of rebounds, an emphatic baseline, one-handed tom tomahawk dunk. I've been Did asking really? all preseason and you know off-season lifts. Like you really got to show me something. And afterwards, I told him that was probably top five dunks I've seen. Oh here. really? Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. It reminded me a little bit. Reminded me a little bit of Dominique uh, Dominique Wilkins. It was great game. because the game was tied. Penn State had. Hazleton had just come back to tie it early in the first half. Everyone was kind of iffy on uh -huh. how things were yeah. going there, and, and, and they needed a boost. J.D. out of nowhere, two dribbles, and oh, then really? just from outside the lane a little bit. Thunderous That's awesome. dunk. Sorry, I missed and it, it just kind of woke everyone up. I think it even woke up Joe. And Joe's not a big dunking guy. <laughs> you know, now that Joe's back there, he's not a, you know, he's not a big dunking guy because he thinks it just goes in the same way, just take the layup. But he gets very upset if someone misses right. a dunk, especially. Oh, well, yeah. I've heard I mean, I've I heard Joe too. yell about missed dunks. He's worried about the but basket. Joe had a, yes, Joe had a, yeah. He's worried about the basket pull down and the height of the ceiling in the shooting <laughs> in the gymnasium. He's always worried about the height of the thing. We can't put anything above the floor because the ceiling's not you know by, by like eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. But um he's like he's <laughs> carries around that tape measure in his belt to make sure you know everything is good <laughs> but um i think joe had to even be impressed with that jalen davis dunk you know yeah. so you know it was good i think he had a handful of dunks dave pope had a nice alley-oop dunk where he really had a you know leap and just extend a little bit that's all, cool you know so you Love know it. you know they showed off their athleticism and stuff too and i'm hearing you know from coach gable that they got a little extra bounce this year and a little extra explosiveness from all the extra time they've been spending in the weight room. i think that so <laughs> you know it's all you. Well, you know, I think six foot seven Jalen Davis with those long arms dunking anyway. But listen, yeah, but if he wants to give me like a little shout out and say, hey, Coach Ricker, that was. Well, know, we'll have things. to see during his interview. Yeah. Tom, if you interview him, ask him how the lifts are going. I'll be sure to ask. Yes. Him. Don't ask Dave Pope how the lifts are going because he weighs 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, soaking wet. <laughs> soaking wet. But he's, 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 he's getting but there. He's but he's putting it on. He does he, look a little bigger he is, this year. And he knows it, too. Yeah, he does. You know, you know he, awesome. he, he battles despite, you know, being that 6'5, 150 or 6'6, six, six, whatever he is, you know. But we're trying to get some weight out yeah. of it too, you know. So that's up to John at Metz in the cafeteria to make sure they keep serving good food yeah. down there. So keep, keep pumping too, those so. carbs. Yep. So let's take a little break because I'm going to we'll see if we. I'm, I'm going to guess we're going to have an interview. So we're going to break into an interview. Break into an interview, and then we'll come back, and then we'll wrap up because we got to talk some esports. A lot of good esports e stuff going on. I this think past some wrestling, week. right? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, we good. Always, I love to wrap up with esports and wrestling. Yeah, well, it works. Yes. We'll leave them hanging. Yeah. Wanting more, we make sure it that does. they're going to stay locked. Does in. Joe want to run around and make an appearance on camera? Uh, and say hi. We talk about you all the time. Uh, in the future. In the <laughs> future guests, Joe Pepper. We'll right now, just studio, and, we'll studio we'll audience, <laughs> studio audience <laughs> member. We'll, Joseph we'll do Pepper. hair and makeup for him next time. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> all, right. all right, good. All right, we'll be back in the Falcons' corner. Take flight.
Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, Sports Information Director for Lackawanna College, and we're talking with our Athletes of the Week here at Lackawanna College. Getting caught up with everybody, we need to talk to our man Bill Hackett here from the Lackawanna College football team. One Athlete of the Week in the 52 to nothing win over Sussex a few weeks ago. Uh, Bill, thanks for coming on with us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, let's go back to that Sussex game that you guys had. Uh, I really felt like... That was a game where the defense finally kind of came together and played well. It had been kind of up and down for you guys for most of the season, but that was a game. It felt like a get-back game for you guys. Yeah. Is that, that kind of what it felt for you? Yeah, uh, it felt good. You know, felt to see, felt good to see a few people that didn't really play this season got an opportunity to play. We got a few turnovers. Yeah, uh, it was just overall a great experience for my team. A great win something to bring us together well you mentioned the turnovers it felt like you were kind of right place right time for a couple of those right yeah yeah i wanted to get two phone recoveries it was great plays by our defense and i just was around the ball so i jumped on it so what what happens in those situations is it just you're in the right you're in the right position and it just kind of like because that that's got to be a chaotic scene when the ball yeah, you on just the ground. you just uh i always float to the ball because you'll never know what happens so yeah Every time the ball goes out and it just is right there, so I just jumped on it. Right, yeah. right. You were there, and you also got a chance. I, I don't know if they counted it completely as a block, but it looked like you came pretty close to getting a punt. Yeah, no, nah, well, I, you know? I got three punt blocks last game. Yeah, <laughs> there I you go. Three. <laughs> you were able to get a piece of that. I mean, uh, that was huge, obviously, turning uh, field position for you guys. Yes. Getting you guys in position to score and all that. Uh, and obviously turned into a big win. Now, you guys played Snow this past week, number four team in the nation, now number two in the latest ratings. I know the, the game didn't necessarily go the way you guys wanted to, yeah. but, I mean, the experience playing out there, playing a team like that, what can you guys take away from that game? Um, just that we just got to be able to repair and keep working, you know. We just got to keep working no matter what, no yeah. matter what's going on in the game, no matter where we go play and who we go play. We just got to play a thousand percent at all times. And they just took advantage of little mistakes that we're making and just took advantage of it. Right, right. And that's, that's what good teams do, right, yeah. is, is that. So how does that kind of change now your focus on these last two games? What are you guys doing to kind of refocus here against Nassau this upcoming weekend? And then, of course, you guys got Georgia at the end of the year. Um, we're just tightening up on... All the mistakes that we were letting slide throughout the season, we're tightening up on everything because we see that we can't really take days off or time off right. without it affecting us on the field. Right. And so when we seen that, we jumped on it, and now we're getting ready to go out here and go win these next two games yep. so we can go out with a bang and, you know, just be competitive. Yep. That's the whole goal of the next two weeks. Just be competitive and always compete and keep competing. Don't just bow down to anything. Yep. Bill's one of our, our starting defensive backs in the secondary for the Falcons. What's your, your kind of philosophy as a defensive back? How do you approach the game? Uh, aggression. I just I play aggressive. I, yeah. don't, I just play aggressive, me versus you, you versus me, and I'm going to win. Well, one of the things I love how you play is that there, you, you go up against guys that are taller than you, certainly, yes. maybe a little bigger, but that doesn't seem to matter to you. No, nah, it never does. It never does. If, you know... If how can I put this the right way? If height matter, uh, elephant will be the king of the jungle. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. So it doesn't really matter. And you're and like you said, you're you're aggressive. You're up. You're you're always pressing on people, and yes. and you you, all, you can deliver the hit too, right? Yes. And that's yes. that's something you pride yourself on. Yes, I pride <laughs> myself on that aggression. Aggression at all times. Like I said, it's just aggression. I like being aggressive, and I like just laying that hit at a good time at a good point in the game, mm -hmm. and make them remember at all times. Yeah, and and. What, what for you kind of, if it's not something you're doing, what's something that gets you pumped up on a football field, gets you excited and want to get back, like want to get out there and make plays? When I see my offense giving their all, you know, because I feel as though if they're giving it all, us as a defense, we have to give our all. Yeah. When I see my other teammates giving it all, that makes me, I have to give my all or for them to give their all because I feel as though if I call them my brothers, I can't let them down. Yeah. I always yeah. go back to this game because that was it was the one where I was on the sideline. It was a game up at Army this year mm -hmm. where you guys are down 11 points with six minutes to go. And even as the defense is coming off, after that interception that Army scored on from the one-yard line, you guys are coming off and you're saying, it's not over. This is not over. Like mm -hmm. we st We're still in this. Yes. And then to be a part of that, you know, to be a part of a game like that where you guys come back, like what did that feel like for you? Uh, it felt good. It felt good. It felt good to, to know that. I got my brothers back and brothers got our back. You know, that's when I say I, man, us as a defense. Yeah. I feel as though if we gonna perform, our offense is gonna perform. Yeah. And we were clicking on all cylinders in that fourth quarter and it 
it, it showed that it showed that if we click all together, it showed what we can do and who we can be on the field. It felt like the most complete yes. way that you guys have played yes. so far this year, definitely. So, athlete nutrition's important. Obviously, eating eating what you want, but what's what's kind of the thing you rely on here on campus at Lackawanna College? For me, uh, I'm a rice and chicken type of guy. I just but if it's rice and chicken in the calf, you know I eat it. You it's, know a, it's a good day. Yeah, that's how I eat. <laughs> I stay away from any uh, red meat, pork, pork and beef and things okay. like that. All right. You know. What about off campus here in Scranton? Is there any any place that you go to that you rely on? Not really. I'm a Chick Fil A. I go to Chick Fil A okay. about 30 minutes away. There, there's no there's no problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> argument for me there. <laughs> what about what about Lackawanna College in general? What was it that sold you? Uh, on, on when you're trying to decide what you were going to do next, that you were like, okay, this is where I can do my thing. This is where I can be. Um, you know, just the, sex, um, the success here. Uh, my uncle went here two years back. Uh, then one of my close friends, teammates, he was here, Jair Brown. Okay. He was here. I seen the success of everybody keep their, pushing people out, pushing people out in the winning culture that we had at the time. And I just had to be a part because I've been here since 2019. I was a part of the team that went to the national championship. So, so obviously you have that experience yes. too. What's you've seen what it takes yes. to get to that next level. So even if that's not in the cars this year for you guys, how do you kind of instill that for this for the, this group of guys that are, that are coming up too? Um, I just try to keep reminding them of what it takes and, you know, just what, how the environment was that season yeah. and the difference in it now. I just try to instill in them and, te- and make them understand that I understand what it takes to win right. and make it to the national championship. Right. So if we just keep piecing all the pieces together, we have we have the talent. Yeah. We just gotta the discipline and piecing everything together. You mentioned Jair Brown. Uh, what does that mean to you as someone who plays at Lackawanna College to see him and like Jaquan Brisker performing as they are on yes, the big stage at Penn uh, State? It motivates me a lot. It motivates me a lot when I go when I turn on the TV. Every time I turn around, it's Jaquan Brisker, Jair Brown, Jaquan Brisker, Jair Brown. You know. To go on social media, that's all I see. It motivates yeah. me a lot to show that it's possible. Even when time get hard here, yeah. they show me that it's possible to get out of here because they were in the same shoes and the same predicament that I am. Yep, they, they were here and then they've gone on and that's yes. obviously what you guys hope to do. What what do you want? Obviously football, you want that to be in your future, but what are you studying? What do you want to try to get to as um, well? Right now I'm majoring in business because you know, I'm a business owner right here with my clothing brand. I am a business owner. Uh, and then I want to uh, open up a gym and like a community center for my for my city. But I okay, everyone is all done and over. I open right, a community center. For right. My so city. what's so what's your business? Well, we're, uh, we're pumping this right. Uh, now. It's dreams to reality. I just replaced the E's with threes because my number is thirty three. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So what is that? So what's dreams to reality? Dreams to reality. Uh, you know, it's just showing that no matter like what age, just making your dream a reality. Pushing, no matter what it is. Say you want to get that car, you know what you got to do to get that car. You want to get that job, you know what you got to do to get that job, put yourself in a certain situation to get that job, yeah. just to chase your dreams no matter what's going on, turn your dreams into reality. Well, Bill certainly seems motivated and ready to go for the rest of the season, yes, so sir. we appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you. so much for coming on. Congrats yes, on Athlete of the Week. We'll be back with more. It's Falcon's Corner. Take flight. Each one of us has a dream. The challenge in today's world is how to achieve it. Now, more than ever, that's the case. Don't fall behind on your dreams or your college education. You can take your general education classes in English, math, and social science locally at Lackawanna College. Our credits transfer to most colleges so you won't fall behind. Call Lackawanna College today to find out how you can stay home, stay safe, and still pursue your college education. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. We are back on the Falcons Corner. Voice of the Falcons, yeah. Mike Rickert, the good guy that know the co-host, Danny Berg, rapping, put in a bow. I think on so. This show. What is this episode ten? I don't even know. That'd be a hell of a guess. Let's I, see. We'll go back. We'll, we'll, I yeah. know it's season. Well, three. we'll find out tomorrow when it comes out because it'll be season three, episode whatever. Yeah. So we'll know I'll tomorrow for sure. Ten. I'm gonna go eleven. Okay. All right. So, wrestling. Go ahead. You're the wrestling guy. Wrestling kicked off the season uh, this past Saturday down at Penn State Mont Alto for the King of the Mont slash King of the Mat uh, tournament, and, and Coach Barbary uh, was able to bring down. A handful of the right. members of the team, and including uh, Cordell Waiters, who I believe went three and one yep. uh, on the weekend, and or on was the that day. right? Three and one, right? I think yes. three and one. Yep. And then Elijah Lugo was he two and two and zero? Two and zero. Oh? Oh? I and think so. Yeah. Two and zero. Oh. Um, those are the ones that I have okay. information wise in, in front of me. Um, you know, but it's it's it was good to get them out wrestling. You know, right. and and 
it's a three hour trip down to Chambersburg, um, you know, get out on the road, stay overnight in the hotel. Right. A lot of times that'll happen with wrestling because the weigh-ins and skin checks are so early in the yep. morning. So um, don't have, didn't receive the, uh, like the team results okay. um, right now to be able to speak of. But once but we I'm get sure them, we'll get them on our, we'll, we'll bring it we'll through and out. put them up on the website. And then this weekend uh, upcoming um, on Saturday, they're competing uh, at t like Temple University's Where's club it? team. Right. Um, in a try match with them, and for the life of me, I can't think of the other school. I think it but might be, be someone might else be there. Westchester. Okay. Um, and then they come back quick, rebound on Sunday, and they participate in the Electric City Duels yep. over here, walking distance to the University of Scranton. Do uh, they need transportation for that, or are you going to make them walk? They are walking. All I've right. never done transportation for it. Okay. Um, I don't know that I'll start now, but they will be heading over there. Uh, Coach Al Rusimano reached out, and he's he's been such a huge resource for us right um in the first five years of our program uh -huh. here so um looking forward to sending them over there and, and see how it goes but the electric city duels so we'll see how that goes nice i want you to arrange transportation to drive three blocks and I, I want you to do that yeah i want you to do that maybe we'll get them the school van i want you to pick them up in your car and just drop them and off. Drive them I over. I could shuttle them back and <laughs> forth. That's it. What time is your way in? I'm, we'll run, we'll, them right we'll run you right over. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> if they need to cut weight, they should just jog over, yes. too. Though. And then you're also the eSports insider a little bit, right? So, you know, they had a, you know, Coach Delaney, well, he Program had Administrator Delaney yeah. had a nice fundraiser, and their guys and girls are, are they, still winning. They did. Well, they had the fundraiser this past Saturday um, at Bartari, and... Um, Teddy was very, very um, instrumental okay. in raising over thirteen hundred dollars, I believe, for I think the it, Janet. I think it was sixteen hundred oh, altogether. Final, final. Um, nice. for the Janet Weiss um, Children's uh, Hospital, and you know he was really looking forward to it. I, I was with him on Friday for a little bit. Uh -huh. and I didn't realize all the the gimmicks he had going on at the different levels, but I'm pretty sure he's bald now. Good. Um, Did he get his haircut? I, I, do we have confirmation? I, I on don't that? know. I, I know do that you was. Have to go. It was over get a thousand. It was over a thousand. Shaved. So, so he I, had a beard too. I wasn't sure if it happened there or if he had to actually physically go get it cut this week. Oh, I'm not sure. I was under the impression it was going to well, be. Well, let's put pressure on Tom. So if he did get his hair cut, we we'll get him a picture. If yeah. he didn't. Get his picture and just can you shop maybe like Photoshop it <laughs> that he has no hair well, to see did, what he looked like we'll, if he didn't do it. Maybe we could do it here if he didn't shave it yet. But he had a nice beard going too. Yep. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he's a man of his way. He said once they hit that thousand mark, but it was pretty cool the way he had things divvied up. Where once they hit a th certain threshold, like he was playing, uh, he was going to be streaming live on right. Twitch as Elsie. Good. So he came up and someone picked else allowed to wear that costume other than you. Yeah, I, he asked where it was, and I was like, why. And then he came up and picked Got it up, it. and it was for a good reason. Yes. And, the, you know, I'm not sure exactly how he was wearing it. but um, So that was a great um, fundraiser. It was good. for Extra Light. Uh, is, is the Extra pro Life. Extra Life. Okay. Um, you know, and, and he was real passionate about it. Yep. So, good. Um, you know, Bartari was a great host, um, especially going into it with some of our eSports meetings. Right. And I saw that last night again. It was Monday, so Rocket League won again, right? Yep, and Rocket they League. clinched uh, a playoff spot, I believe. Yeah, they're, they're, so they're doing right. well. In the NJCAAE, and uh, they got a big win last night, and yeah, they're, they've clinched a playoff spot with one one regular season game still to go. Good. So, you know, congrats Good. to them. They, they and guess well. where you can watch all that stuff? Where? My favorite. Where? Even though I don't have it yet, it's still my favorite. Twitch. Should, Twitch. <laughs> Twitch. I yep. love Twitch. Yep. And if you need to know when they're playing on Twitch, LackawannaFalcons.com and all social media platforms. Right? Everything. Lackawanna Esports has its own Facebook. They have their Instagram. They're like, they're busy. Busy. They're busy. Yes. And then LockwanFalcons.com because Tom throws out beautiful graphics every week. Unbelievable. Yep. And then the recaps. Unbelievable. But I really think that we should have a bald coach Delaney. Unbelievable. Like right here. But he, I even joked. He's That's like, my new you, word today. Would you shave your head? I was just like, it's never going to grow back. It's barely growing in now and it's not shaved. And he just looked at me and he goes, yeah, it'll be nice and thick coming back. I'm like, thanks, Ted. Thanks. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's my, I'm just, everything's unbelievable today. <laughs> unbelievable. But... Best of luck to everyone competing this week, right? So, again, football, best of luck to them as they go yes. to Nassau. And then our men and women's team as they go out to the Niagara Tip-Off Classic, you know, so they get away for, you know, a day or two yep. and um, spend a night in a hotel. And yep. then eSports and wrestling. That's it. Awesome. All I right. think this was a great show. I think it was an unbelievable show. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For Vice the Falcons, Mike, we're going to call us a good guy to know Danny Berg. Putting a wrap on this unbelievable show. We'll see you next week on the Falcons Corner. Take flight.